there is a new cybersecurity certification in town and it's practical. So if you know anything about me, there are two things that I love passionately, cybersecurity and practical certifications that relate to cybersecurity. So in this video, we'll be taking a quick look at what this certification has to offer. Let's get right into it. First and foremost, if you're new here, my name is Day and I'm a security engineer at Data Dog. And if you're new to the channel, I talk about cybersecurity, cloud security, certifications, internships, and a bunch of other things. And if you have any interest in all of those things, be sure to subscribe so that you are always up to date with new videos on the channel. Now let's take a look at this certification. All right, so this is the Certified Cyber Defender Blue Team Training and Certification. And it's the new certification being offered by Cyber Defenders. And if you know anything about DFIR challenges, DFIR CTFs, and stuff like that, then you would know that Cyber Defenders has been one of the pioneers of these things for a couple of years now. As a matter of fact, I've been in the cybersecurity industry for about three years now, and they've been in the industry longer than I've been in the industry. So they've definitely been around for quite a while. Uh, they have had a ton of Blue Team Labs and DFIR challenges with different tools like Wireshark, Splunk, even cloud stuff as well. Like they're, they have a, a really, really large library of basically defensive focused CTFs, DFIR stuff that helps you understand more of the blue team stuff of cybersecurity. And I think it's really cool that they've evolved over the years. As a matter of fact, like the way the website looks like now is way better than it was a couple of years ago. So I really love that I've watched their evolution over the last couple of years. And it's really cool to see that they've come up with their own practical cybersecurity training, which is the certified cyber defender. Obviously this training is a blue team training. So it's geared towards threat hunters, incident responders, suck analysts, and you are expected to have some sort of prerequisite knowledge of Windows and Linux operating systems. Uh, as well as like some basic system administration, understanding of networking, you know, all those basic things, right? But I think at the core of everything, what I think you really need the most is the ability to research and solve problems. I think even if you don't have all these prerequisites, if you're able to go out there, dig for information, go to Google, find things that you don't understand, you're going to be able to really catch up with this. If you don't have those skills, you're going to have to learn how to build those skills so you're able to not be on the certification, have a successful cybersecurity career. So I do think that, you know, this is definitely something that anyone who doesn't have experience can sort of get started with. But if you are not that person you know someone that wants to like really get the foundations down they want to explore other things to really get you up to speed before we get into this course so about the certification it has two exam vouchers i love that it's manually graded and it's a 48 hour 100 practical certification attempt i am not new to that because i took the blue team level one about a year ago that was really fun by the way if you've not seen that video check it it'll be somewhere in the link in the description or somewhere on the screen but i love the practical aspect of this certification because it helps you actually get hands-on and you know down in the trenches of analyzing investigating threats you know creating a timeline of what happened and doing a forensic analysis of what happened within the environment i think this is really good because it puts you in the seat of someone who is working as a threat hunter or a security analyst or an incident responder and it helps you actually practice those things or evaluate those skills that you'll be practicing or you'll be performing as that particular role in the real world so more more than just like you know multiple choice questions where you're just clicking around and doing like you know a b c d or e in this case you're actually investigating you're in a compromised environment a simulated environment in this case we're able to practice the skills that you're expected to know as a security analyst threat hunter forensic analyst incident responder whatever the case is and i really love that so it doesn't require a report which is actually really cool so i'm actually very curious to see how that works out when i eventually take the exam later on uh, this year probably two months from now but i'm actually curious to see how that works out because uh when i did take the blue team level one i had to write a report but I, I, like I said, I'll be curious to see what uh, this looks like. Uh, what else is cool about it? It has a three day, 100% money back guarantee. So if you're not satisfied about it, you can get your refund in about three days. And I think another cool thing about it is the buy now start later option. So it's currently 500 US dollars and it's really affordable and very on par with most other blue team trainings out there, but it's going to eventually go up to $800 because they're still building out the course, fully fleshing it out. So I think if you want to grab it at this price right now, you would be better off because you're getting it at a much cheaper price and you have the ability to start later rather than waiting until later when it's you know way more expensive so if you want to do that i think i recommend doing it because like you're getting it at a discount and you can essentially start whenever you want we'll take a quick dive into the syllabus uh before then going into what the labs look like because the labs are freaking good so it goes over security operation fundamentals now this looks like a ton of lessons but i think it's really really bite-sized so like there's a lot of information that you have to you know go over and stuff like that but they put it in really bite-sized formats and text so that it's not overwhelming right so you know you go over a section understand the information about it and you go to the next one so you're not just like taking all this information so much like it's overwhelming right so i like that it's it's a, it's a lot but it's bite-sized so you're able to digest it easily 
Uh, so a lot of things here, a lot of things to understand here. I think it's really good because like they introduce people to what really is security operations. Instant response is also a good one as well. So it goes over some theoretical aspects of instant response as well as some web-based instant response things as well. Perimeter defense, this was a really good one about email security. This is definitely really important if you're doing security operations work. Basically, a ton of things about understanding how email threats work, as well as some really, really cool labs uh, pertaining to email security. I really, really loved and enjoyed this section. It was definitely really, really packed with a ton of good information. Then there's the forensic evidence collection. From what I've heard, this one is really in-depth and goes deep into like different things about forensics. Same with the disk forensic one and the memory forensic one and the network forensic one. The one I'm actually really, really interested in and I'm looking for to doing is the threat hunting and emulation one because this one uses elastic sim i personally have more experience with splunk as well as curator and uh, datadog's cloud sim which i work on so i have i love using sims like you know it's been like mostly most of my career so far my very young career but i don't have as much experience using the elastic sim and i think a big good opportunity to kind of learn you know how that ecosystem works you know coming from a different environment like splunk or uh, datadog's cloud sim or curator so i'm really curious to learn about this and i, I also love threat hunting i do a lot of threat hunting at my work so i want to see how the approach to threat hunting is done here especially for endpoint as well as you know other like network threat hunting as well so i'm looking forward to getting into this section to see how you know this works as well as what i learned from this section as well so then we have the labs man the labs are freaking good I've taken a, a bunch of these labs. I think I'm about 50% done with the labs. And these labs are very well done. They really actually take their time to drive home the information that they're teaching you in the theoretical aspect and make you apply those things within these labs. And I think these labs are just beyond amazing. All right, labs. You have 25 plus hands-on labs. And I think they keep adding more labs as they, you know, flesh out the course. But the labs are really, really good. I think they're very well designed to evaluate your level of knowledge with what you've learned within the course and really help you build those skills. I think it's the perfect balance between understanding and putting a certain amount of effort into trying to understand by pushing yourself beyond, you know, what you know. I'm explaining it in a weird way, but I really like the labs. Uh, they're really, really good. And speaking of labs, let's take a quick look at one of the labs that exists within this course. One of the labs in this course is the Velociraptor lab. Prior to this course, I've actually not had any experience with Velociraptor, although I have used other endpoint monitoring detection response tools, but it was my first time playing around with Velociraptor and I thought it was really cool. So the labs are really well designed. You also have the ability to do this in full screen. However, there's a pain where you can do this half and half with your questions on the left side and the lab on the right side, but don't want to reveal the questions but I'll leave a screenshot to what that looks like somewhere on the screen so you can have an understanding of that but you can also do the lab in full screen which is pretty cool so basically like the labs are very well laid out you know you basically have access to sort of you know simulated environments you know that have a ton of data or whatever right so for example i could take a look at what is going on with this host i can add to let's see download something like that like investigate stuff like that and it's pretty responsive right you know, it's a lab environment, so you can't expect it to be perfect. However, you know, for something of, 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 of this sort, it's pretty responsive. Not much lag, not much delay there, right? But this is one of the labs, and this is how a bunch of the other labs are. They're as realistic as possible, but basically you're able to try out these different tools and see how they work, and they guide you through it. So as part of these labs, they come with different guides to kind of, you know, show you how to use the tool. And then the lab then tests you on what you've learned from the guide uh, in order for you to answer some questions. Again, I'll leave a screenshot of what those things look like without revealing the questions. But this is sort of an example of one of the labs that exists in the course. And for example, like a tool like a Velociraptor, it might not be the same tool you might be using as a SOC analyst. Maybe you might be using CrowdStrike or uh, Carbon Black or something else. But you kind of have, have an understanding of how to use an endpoint monitoring or forensic tool to grab data from an endpoint as part of your response. And that is pretty much applicable with most other things within cybersecurity, whether or not it's Velociraptor. Another thing that I love is this beautiful dashboard that gives you an understanding of where you're at with your overall progress of the course. So I'm about 64% done with this course. You have about 120 hours, which is good. Only about 23 hours out of those. I have completed about 75% of the lessons, and then I have completed about 52% of the labs. Basically, I like the fact that it gives you an overview of how far you're in uh, with the course. Uh, so as you can see, I have all these labs, done i'm done with instant response i'm done with set cost fundamentals perimeter defense let me terminate this so i can save my lab time but it really helps you track and understand where you're at with the course uh, so that way you're sort of keeping track of it so this 
course expires on the 9th of August. I'm hoping to certify in July. Um, I've been really busy with a lot of things. I might not even be able to do much uh, this month, but I think in July I can really catch up, finish up the course, and then uh, take the certification probably sometime earlier in August. So I so after I'm done with that, I'll definitely make a video, you know, post, you know, course, post exam and everything to kind of let you know how that went. So that's really about it with, you know, what the course looks like as well as like, you know, this really nice dashboard. There are also a bunch of testimonials out there for people who have taken the course and the exam. I think this is a good way to kind of gauge, you know, if this is actually worth it and if you want to spend your money and time on this. So I'll leave a link to these different reviews in the description so you can take a look at them. So I think this is a really, really great course. I've enjoyed it so far, learned a lot of things, refreshed on a lot of knowledge that I have had in the past, but I have not really had to use recently. So I think it's really, really cool. All these things that you're doing, I've enjoyed so far i also think they're super super responsive on discord so they're really really intimate with the students they gather feedback and implement that feedback um, i think there are a lot of things people have suggested in discord about the course how to make it a lot more accessible how to make it easily digestible for students and they've implemented a lot of this feedback so i really love the, the fact that they're taking the time to gather feedback from students implementing the course to make it better and a lot more easier for students to digest the information and ultimately succeed in the course and in their careers as well so i I love that they really care about their students. I think the cost is great for where it is at right now. Uh, when it goes up to $800, I think it's a bit costly, but I do think it's it makes sense for the depth and wealth of information that's covered in the course. And I think it's also a very, very strong contender for certifications like Blue Team Level 1. As you guys know, I am a huge Security Blue Team fanboy. So I think this might be something that might be giving Security Blue Team around for their money uh, because the depth at which it goes to is quite a lot. And I think I'll have more of an opinion about that after I take the exam and see how much of a comparison it has in terms of security blue team. And then finally, if you want to check out the course, a link to it would be in the description. Let me know what you think about this course. You know, have you tried it? Do you like it? And yeah, whatever it is, leave a comment down below and I'll see you in the next video and hopefully in the video where I pass the exam later in the future. Bye-bye.